Okay. So, please come be in again. Now, uh, uh, we will uh, explore some of the uh, basics about primary legal sources, uh, which is uh, uh, subsequent to the previous class, uh, what a court case is. Uh, now, uh, that you have gained an understanding of court system and methods for locating court decision at the federal and state levels, uh, I will make some additional uh, introduction about this point. Uh, what uh, federal and state reporters of cases, uh, so case reporters, uh, federal reporters, uh, they'll be uh, available in. Uh, our class materials uh, from page one uh, to uh, zero through uh, one fifty or perhaps uh, uh, quite long. Uh, uh, you will be handy about uh, uh, the briefs and other uh, excerpt. It is time to reflect on what these cases actually mean. So think about famous cases you may have read in prior civics or government courses. What features do they have in common? What uh, sets them apart? How did each case establish the president? How did the court decision affect government policy? Uh, this, uh, so, uh, my purpose in this week is to let you have some uh, clue about this uh, question. Uh, and I also uh, hopefully expect to strengthen your understanding of how to use and interpret case law. Uh, and uh, it is strongly recommended that you write a formal case brief and analyze its related changes. So, uh, by the end of this week, you should be able to interpret case law. And uh, you should be able to analyze challenges related to written case briefs. So, uh, uh, this is topic uh, which we briefed in the last class, perhaps. I will uh, summarize for you uh, Follow of purpose in what is finding cases in Westlaw and Lexis, finding cases using digest. So I introduced uh, uh, several sources uh, to uh, uh, help you uh, find uh, the cases uh, through digest. Yes. And another uh, way to locate cases would be utilize annotated reports. Hmm? So, end day reports from AIR, are, uh, for, uh, for example, uh, to uh, make it shorter in some uh, cases uh, about your uh, work to find the case. Uh, and also, uh, you will uh, be uh, available about uh, resources to verify your research sources. So perhaps on page 110, 111. And uh, in uh, this concern, uh, now I recall the Shepherd citations online. Uh, Shepherds is very uh, similar to Keysight. It might uh, rankle the Shepherd people to hear say that uh, because Shepherds was the original one and uh, an only case verification service in the print media only days. So it is traditional and uh, often considered paradigmatic uh, to um, arm yourself with law school studies and the practicing lawyers are also uh, uh, been uh, very indebted to separatization case so it is uh, based on that the uh, 
jurists and legal professionals would interact to respond with their uh, work and uh, uh, professional activities. Uh, <coughs> hard to imagine now, given how cumbersome it was to use them. Shepherd's Online is standalone service, but it also may be accessed through Lexis. Uh, you will uh, be shown uh, in your uh, class material for Lexis Lexis total uh, research system, and uh, you have a sign indicate Shepherd's and table of authorities, auto or site, a lex site. Then uh, 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 the uh, catchphrase was uh, displayed, uh, research or validate citations quickly, easily and reliably. Shepard now, now integrated with LexisNexis uh, our have no. So uh, uh, we have a usual scene about uh, case search or uh, article search enter the citation to be checked citation formats so uh, you uh, need to have an uh, awareness uh, which uh, expertise your uh, process to look at the case so the citation okay, one. what does it mean the 303 if u dash s dash e uh, 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 seven uh, to five so the first number is a, a, uh, for book assigned in order about federal case. A U.S. in this case means a federal case. And the last number would uh, be pages for that uh, specific book. And the case name should appear. Uh, in some cases, you are only available for case name. In case name, uh, would come uh, as last name. So uh, last name is uh, uh, conventional uh, to indicate the name of parties, and uh, the order uh, could come a reversed uh, to indicate the initi initiating party in that rank of a. Uh, call so in the play review, uh, the plaintiff might be placed in layer uh, after a uh, birth step. Uh, so, <coughs> and also, uh, we uh, would be conventional to put the year of the season, called 1998 or 1901. So <coughs> the year indicates uh, that uh, the case was decided in uh, the, uh, that year. Uh, the report will include uh, shepherds for validation, subsequent history, and citing references with analysis. Shepherds for research, prior and subsequent history, and all citing references to track future treatment of case, set up Shepherd's alert. To request multiple citations, use get, uh, and uh, print. Shepherd's Online provides direct history, the summary shown above, and citing references for citing decisions, and provides the parallel uh, citations, eh, if any, to the original case and the citing uh, decisions. As with key site, references to the point of law in head notes are uh, tracked. In this case, head notes from uh, the Lexis Lexis version of the case are tracked rather than the head notes from the West publication of the case. Then, you may need to update your online key site or Sheffield's information. But that is not a uh, case when uh, you uh, benefit from uh, personal search analysis. The great thing about Keysight and Shepherd's online is that the reporter reports you prop when you check a citation are cumulative and comprehensive. You do not have to run the same site through multiple databases in the same way. 
uh, that you have to pull multiple volumes of printers or shoppers off the shelves, shelves in order to check one citation. Thus, using the online version of a uh, site checking service, although fee-based, may actually save your client money. What you pay for the online service may well be offset uh, by the time saved in not having to pull and pull over multiple volumes in order to check each site. So uh, prepare to be quite systematic and uh, automated uh, since the, uh, the computerized is, is uh, highly powerful, you consider. Uh, of course, if your research uh, lingers of the course of several weeks or if you're in the middle of a lawsuit or the long-running legal project, you should recheck your authorities periodically to see if something new has developed in the history or citing references. So, you uh, may yourself be refined and more uh, churning on uh, the case itself and through the uh, case history and other citing references could complement uh, to support and uh, what a diversify your views and uh, what actually enrich your structure of souls uh, in presenting your uh, articles or uh, memorandum of law forms uh, finding other cases using one good case with Keyside or Shepherds. Eh? Keyside and Shepherds are also an effective tool for finding other relevant cases, namely those the side the good cases you've already found, and uh, Keysiding or Shepherdizing. And of course, the same can be said for the bad cases you find. Don't ignore them. Keyside or Shepherdizing them to find the citing references for other bad cases that you need to distinguish and handle. This works even if you only have one good head note from the case. Keyside and Shepherds will list and call the particular cases that have cited your case for the proposition stated in each of the head notes found in your case. So the head note service is typical about the commercial uh, providers for example, in the previous case, uh, you can see uh, some important uh, brief in elements about uh, head note. Eh? What the core terms were provided by uh, LexisNexis, parrot, bird, animal, escape, domesticated, true owner, sea lion, nature, uh, forest, exhibition ownership wild animals capture regain canary cost uh, several uh, not several actually in extended number uh, although the case uh, is in uh, two or three pages very short uh, uh, so uh, key terms uh, would be asked to provide if you are uh, also of uh, low level articles or uh, other mm, uh, pieces of research uh, article about social science or psychology or others. Uh, practice would often uh, be required of six or uh, eight uh, key term words. Uh, uh, they will not be uh, usual in uh, the case uh, had no eh, uh, provided by Alexis Ness. And uh, the head note also displayed this position. You see, judgment for depend, uh, defendant dismissing the complaint uh, without cost. And the case summary is big title to cover procedural posture, overview, outcome, core terms. So uh, you uh, need to be reminded that the uh, procedural facts and substantive facts are basic uh, to uh, be made uh, distinct in, uh, by yourself uh, to understand the case. Okay. And the procedural posture uh, is uh, an important trend to uh, get you on uh, what a, a uh, 
strict convenience through the cases. So procedural, what is the procedure? So uh, is it appellate the uh, case? Uh, and who, who actually appears? Eh? Uh, so in uh, this case, you uh, are now seeing plaintiff rescue filed an action in the private against defendant parent owners for the return of parent uh, found by uh, the rescue. And also you have uh, uh, paragraphs uh, in uh, the title, subtitle of overview. So from uh, this source of information, you can have basic uh, information about uh, the case, uh, nature of case, and uh, this uh, facts and some uh, uh, what a uh, actually often uh, be uh, uh, presented with facts uh, and outcome would be provided. Okay? The court grants judgment in favor of the owners in the rescues reflect in action. And Lexis Nexis head notes also allow you to uh, the area of it, uh, issue. So contract law types of contract, rights of purchases. What are rights of purchases? So uh, the order in this case uh, would be insured uh, in response with the, the extent of topic. The contract law would be largest to cover types of contracts and specifically in this case rights of purchases were disputed about uh, the lost parent uh, who is entitled uh, to the ownership uh, right of power. Uh, he it, it was domesticated and trained uh, by public entities, perhaps in this case, it was devoted to uh, educational uh, shows, exhibition. Uh, so the uh, rules uh, pertinent to your uh, uh, issue uh, could be argued uh, and uh, uh, would appear in the legal reason of the court. Uh, and uh, you see in the head notes, uh, animals lost parrot uh, based upon its ca unique characteristics, parrot found by plaintiff had to be one the defendant, ASPCA lost. A parrot, as parrot was domesticated, true owner entitled to his return from any person who found it. And uh, you will have a uh, name of counsel, in this case John Horry for a plaintiff. Uh, judges, the name of judges will appear, a Martin Rodell. Uh, so the uh, uh, head, uh, part of head notes would uh, not be included uh, as a matter of official structure uh, about court opinion. So that is not actual part of court opinion. So you have a uh, court opinion right after uh, the head notes. So for example, you see chest is apparent, he is 14 inches tall with a green coat, yellow hat, and orange streak on his uh, wings, red press uh, cover his left shoulder. Chest is a show parrot used by defendant ASPCA in various educational exhibitions presented to groups of children and uh, blah, blah, blah. so facts were presented and in this case the court uh, spotted the issue in uh, paragraph or articulation uh, of a, a expertise uh, from expertise well, the one uh, is the parrot in question two is Chester the missing bird two if it is in fact Chester who is entitled to his ownership. So you have no difficulty uh, to uh, on your case before. Uh, and you have uh, some number uh, intermediates uh, uh, between words, for example, 2A9 or A62, what, 290. That uh, indicates the page number 
of case. So with this uh, citation in uh, for this published form of case is a what a 303 NYS 2D288. So the letter part means page, the beginning page 288. It uh, begins on page 288. So uh, to the number 289 indicates the uh, page number. And uh, to uh, and so, uh, this help you to uh, cite this case. So you may uh, have need to uh, cite the specific paragraph in your research article, for example, or uh, uh, court brief uh, or whatever. Then uh, uh, you may put the, the number uh, to uh, uh, indicate the, the section of paragraph. And uh, this case, uh, as I mentioned, uh, is exciting, uh, uh, especially useful uh, to uh, allow you to uh, uh, be shooted uh, within uh, this class purpose. Uh, so a common law system, so inductive reasoning, so it's called what exercise uh, great wisdom, uh, or perhaps on the kind of ex uh, uh, So uh, they uh, distinguish uh, based on facts from many other uh, hypotheticals, and uh, uh, what they, well, what they differences in uh, context. So uh, you uh, now uh, have uh, the, the subtlety of a, a common law uh, intelligence uh, and what a especially uh, exciting would be a dicta. Uh, now delivered by court. The court wishes to commend the plaintiff for his acts of kindness and compassion to the parent during the period that it was lost. So actually, uh, the care and management was uh, delivered to the lost parent uh, during two weeks. Yeah? So uh, the food to subsidize the parent was uh, eagerly accepted by the parent Right, uh, in the court uh, language, for example, uh, and uh, was gratified to receive the defendant's assurance that the first parent available would be offered uh, to the plaintiff for adoption. So uh, I have made uh, it uh, prepared for your uh, uh, examination. Uh, about the model case brief you know, of this case, and in that case, uh, in that case brief, uh, the hypothetical situ uh, situation was assumed, uh, uh, which uh, is hypothetical since I'm not a, a diplomat. As, uh, in the shoes of a, a, a diplomatic attorney. Uh, I was assumed to uh, prepare for uh, comparative uh, case briefing of this case with uh, uh, Republic of Korea, uh, the Civil Code of Republic of Korea. So I have illustrated uh, several articles from the Civil Code, 203, uh, three, uh, 243, for example. You are available of that uh, short. A summary of provisions uh, which uh, uh, purpose to compare the rules of law uh, in this case and the, uh, the uh, legal consequence on uh, that uh, pro uh, provision. Okay. Well, uh, now 
I offered from uh, the Korean sources. So, uh, please uh, read carefully uh, through the analysis. You uh, see, for example, uh, some uh, uh, perception from uh, legal culture, different legal cultures and social customs and systems. Uh, so, uh, in your uh, international um, trade classes, trade law classes, uh, you have been uh, instructed that the unif uh, what, uniform private law uh, movement uh, is uh, on a pivotal to develop uh, the autonomy of uh, uh, legal subject, or what you call international trade law. So some of the uh, successful achievement was uh, being discussed. Uh, for example, UNSTRA, what is the uh, Uniform Sales Law, and CISGN abbreviation. So uh, the international private lawyers, uh, who is famous and others, uh, who often uh, be committed to the kind of a private law initiative global scale. So you have need to uh, uh, what a uh, make salient uh, in that area of expertise for example. I my assumption uh, was so. So uh, please uh, read carefully through the analysis and what's the point in comparison uh, and how uh, uh, does it entail any implications about legal history or uh, legal system or the attitudes and judicial style of uh, uh, judges from both traditions? The kind of uh, points of uh, uh, consideration uh, was given as an assignment. So, uh, please consider. And, uh, well, uh, uh, you will see through the pages, for example, print sources, shepherd citations in uh, print form, and the codes used in shepherds. Eh? So for those of you limited to the print volumes or simply interested in a bit of citatory history, shepherds uses the following codes to explain how a holistic case affects the case you are shepherdizing. You know, a form, criticize, distinguish, explain, uh, followed, harmonized, or dissenting opinion. A dissenting opinion uh, size the case you are shepherding. Uh, for example, uh, what does the word mean? Harmonized. In uh, the concept, uh, we uh, will see the list case differs from your case, but reconciles the differences between itself and your case. Uh, what does it mean? Limited. Listed case restricts the application of the case to specific limited circumstances. And what are the codes uh, uh, to make you expedient uh, through the grasp of a, a Cases researched by yourself now. Modify, overrule, question. What does it mean? Parallel. This call means the list case describes the case you are sympathizing as on all fours with it. It finds your case directly on point in all respects. And reversed. It should proceed. Uh, what does it mean? Supersede. As opposed to lawyer case S, which means the list case is the same case as the case you are shepherdizing. Uh, so, uh, it's uh, uh, concept opposed to lawyer case eh? S. The uh, case. Uh, the cause appear prior to shepherd citation for the citing case. 
for example, the listing F939P to the A94B is the case found that uh, 939P dash to the A94 follows the pin in your shepherdite. Uh, the listing D345 F3 FS616 means the case that uh, 345 F dash supplement. Uh, 616 distinguish the case you're shepherdizing and doesn't so regarding the point of law discussed uh, in head no 2 of the case huh? so your small let, uh, number 2 here this refers to West has no from the printed report of the pin uh, as shown uh, in the example of uh, D345 uh, FS616 Shepherds uses its own non blue book uh, abbreviation for a certain report. There is a table of such abbreviations uh, at the beginning of each volume of separate. So, blue book is uh, most uh, what uh, comprehensive and detailed uh, deals in this area of concern so uh, the kind of uh, indispensable manual uh, for the law students and legal researchers uh, then can shepherds miss negative subsequent history how do you compensate for this should the code alone be enough to ca cause you to doubt a case and shepherds for non-cases eh? what does it mean eh? so uh, you need to inquire of this uh, uh, a issue in uh, exploiting the shepherds way of research so uh, then uh, you will uh, get it uh, easier uh, and handy on uh, the shepherds use eh? Shepherds also exist for ARR annotations and for statute rules, admissible regulations, and constitutional provisions from the state and the federal system. Uh, so uh, it could be uh, extended into non cases. Uh, uh, and Shepherds comes in many forms. So uh, you need to uh, will be predicted uh, of sources so which shepherds do you use uh, state uh, specific cites, citators regional citators and federal citators all shepherd list ARRs and law reviews local ones and the training or some major ones the shepherds write uh, Updating uh, shepherd citations volumes can be tedious because the printed volumes are not cumulative. In other words, they do not uh, repeat the information previously printed by them. If a case is old, you will need to pull two or more hardbound volumes to run the history of the case. Shepherds does not use pocket parts to update the volumes. Instead, they uh, are a, a, a uh, sub found supplements and supplements to supplements. Hence, when you are running a history, each successive uh, yeah. volume of uh, the newer bound volume through the interim paper book, paperback accumulation to the most recent paperback updates. Uh, Shepard does, however, give you a hint as to what volumes are needed to run a complete history of citation case. So, uh, on one hand, uh, it could be consistent, and in other way, you need to exercise uh, your wisdom. to make it uh, comprehensive and in, uh, uh, available of all coverages uh, through the complete history. The cover of the most recent supplement will tell you which volumes to conserve to get the most up-to-date coverage. 
Thus, you will not have to sail through a bunch of soft other uh, volumes that have been superseded and outdated. Uh, so, once I uh, uh, recall that uh, the Dean's command, uh, what uh, it called uh, of Dean's command, uh, what the Roscoe Pound, uh, he actually uh, stated uh, Futile sense that we have now was uh, excessive volumes of old cases. Yeah? They would, uh, what, uh, has high potential uh, to uh, what actually debase the essence of case law system. And uh, Roscoe Pound is uh, what influential figure in American. Uh, uh, Well, legal research and he is a great scholar to collaborate uh, what, a, with uh, Hans Kelgen. Uh, so uh, their uh, collaboration would be the uh, foundation uh, to inaugurate the United States in uh, many assessments. But at least in uh, legal uh, term, uh, so uh, now uh, you have to work through the historic cases. Then uh, shepherds would uh, help you uh, from uh, uh, a scope of uh, cause. Uh, uh, previously uh, illustrated uh, with pages, so you uh, could seek them uh, by uh, using this um, uh, more serving to your purpose, uh, and also uh, I now see it uh, be cut, uh, reserved for your uh, follow-up review, and uh, some uh, basics that to be uh, delivered about leading cases, and, uh, so elements of case, conceivable facts, so. No way to uh, stop this recording. So I have to uh, finish that uh, since uh, a previous appointment. So the uh, next class will approach. So uh, what are elements of case? Uh, uh, before you can approach any case intelligent, you must be able to separate these component parts. So mechanical, as this may seem, it is the only way to get a firm grasp on exactly what the opinion stands for. Sorting out different pieces helps to cut through confusion. So the skill is not acquired overnight. Hmm? After reading enough cases, though, you can help uh, but become an expert by investing some extra effort uh, in the beginning, consciously identifying the elements listed below as you were the case, you can uh, reduce the time it takes to become an efficient and knowledgeable case reader. So, please uh, train yourself to become uh, an effective reader and a competent reader uh, it's a, a critical component of lawyering uh, processing. 
uh, when you actually write down this information, you produce the hollow case script. Where then, to what extent uh, case scripts will be useful to you uh, consider later. But I now present uh, 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 between procedural facts and substantive facts. So being able to plot just how the particular case you are reading wound, uh, wound up uh, before the tribunal, the wrote the opinion, is essential to understanding the legal system structure, how various codes interact with one another. So, what? So I now suggest you stop and smell the roses. Paradoxical, we have a rose garden in Joseon University campus. What uh, uh, does stand for? What smell are those? So, what rich flavor? <laughs> I advise you. Uh, I advise that you uh, should not expect the details or any uh, in-depth uh, details about common law systems since uh, we could be short of uh, basics. Elements of a case. What are uh, elements of a case? Uh, so I now on that uh, subtopic. Eh? Procedural effects and substantive facts. And also we have to uh, you have to they develop uh, the skills to understand statutes. And so statutes are important source, primary sources. Uh, what well, uh, the big dealt in uh, uh, later week uh, and uh, uh, recurring themes uh, would be important. Some legal motives are so fundamental that consistently permeate entire bodies of law. So these seems to represent universal background issues to continue to shape the souls of judges and scholars even as the law itself changes. You must reckon with them each time you analyze a case. Three such recurring themes are described uh, uh, in pages, so remember them as you progress. You will uh, undoubtedly discover others for yourself. So uh, please uh, consider uh, this uh, or max the slippery spot uh, so well. the concept uh, you will encounter repeatedly as a rudiment of legal analysis is the quandra quandary of slippery slope is often introduced in the course of Socratic uh, dialogue a technique employed by professors to neither nervous uh, novices and expose sloppy reason. Uh, as discussion of case proceeds, the professor selects a student random, yourself for example. Your views on the case are, are solicited. Uh, the professor proves your analysis or question to expose in, uh, its weakness. You are then invited to reconsider, just when you think your newly modified conclusions have afforded your means of escape. Your professor slices the salami ever more or thinly, proceeding to a deeper level of analysis and exposing the frayed edges of your reasoning that you still have not tucked away. The purpose of this exercise is not a uh, meanness, but mind sharpening. So as your uh, reasoning is dissected, you and your classmates learn there are far more questions in law than answers. Uh, the, you must think twice about your conclusions uh, before embracing them to formally or categorically. So uh, the critical uh, legal researcher uh, is one other concept uh, to be uh, complemented in uh, this aspect. So, in terms of case briefing, you need, uh, 
to be critical, hopefully, uh, since uh, that uh, uh, would actually sharpen uh, the quality of your legal research, the critical legal thinker is a thoughtful craftsman, craftsman applying his or her talents generalizing case with imagination, diligence, and skills. Uh, because the critical legal thinker is aware that all the components of a case intact form an interacting whole, he or she realizes that no one element can be understood with reference to the others. So uh, the critical legal thinker would have the kind of uh, uh, point of uh, uh, deliberation, yeah? uh, course, for example, for what course is the case being read and uh, studied? What is the name of the case in its proper legal citation form? Uh, what court and what level is hearing the case? and in one year was the case and uh, you need to narrow down uh, yourself to the key procedural history fact, key plaintiff allegations, theory of case, key defendant allegations, theory of the case, significance facts as identified by current appellate court, Key authority a, a doctrine relied upon by current appellate court. So, for example, you need to inquire yourself what key authority doctrine did the current court rely on and why. Key interest at stake and a published justification relied upon by current appellate court. So, the uh, Judiciary is an important uh, policy maker. The fact can bring any uh, national consequence of uh, 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 policy or so. So, <coughs> uh, main ideas of the case. Uh, putting these all together, what is the main idea of the case? So, the kind of in what a uh, sole process and what a exercise of your uh, intellectual power is actually pivotal uh, to become a critical legal thinker. Uh, because of the web-like uh, like nature of judicial opinion, the critical legal thinker is aware that no one method will result in an instant ide identification or understanding of all the components of the case. Indeed, not only can the components be presented in any order, different opinions than themselves to different identification schemes. Still, the critical legal thinker is aware that the necessary first step in analyzing any case is to read the case carefully. So, it is, uh, what, well, actually, there was an important wisdom through all the way uh, you uh, endeavor in law school, become a, a critical reader and also a effective reader. So, and uh, you now have some uh, important insights or the pages about procedural facts and uh, substantive facts. You will see diagram in page uh, 28, a property uh, associated with So one uh, case from uh, uh, hypothetical circumstances. Uh, and how do you deal with other uh, 
section in uh, your case book. Uh, issue, holding, reasoning, and dissents and concurrences. So, for example, in the part of reasoning, how did the court arrive at this, this holding? Was it applying or overruling precedent? Often trying to follow a judge's application of law to facts can seem, can seem like a treasure hunt. She may not announce a reasoning board. She may disperse through the opinion. The facts may be ambiguous. The lines separating a judge's holding, reasoning, and dicta are really distant. For example, the court found for Dirdre Guilford because of free and easy hospitality, which is this new happen at reunion time. So this uh, uh, was available in uh, the early pages. And, uh, Dirdre was an alumni, uh, one of the uh, alumni, uh, called upon uh, to reunion of, of Yale Law School and uh, Across the night time, uh, he incurred some uh, personal injury about the stories and what consequence uh, uh, to be brought about uh, the injury. Uh, he actually, uh, it was brought to the court dispute, uh, uh, but, uh, dispute and brought into uh, civil action. Uh, so, uh, uh, that was once uh, uh, introduced, which apparently places a special burden on Yale to foresee the middle-headed uh, uh, peregrinations of every in uh, every faded, weak bladder Bella. But just how the universe failed to meet this burden is never really spelled out in the film. So. Uh, you, uh, what a uh, attitude uh, is it, uh, might be basic about the thought uh, or theory. Well, uh, are they invited or what, uh, licenses to enter uh, the uh, yellow camp uh, press? Uh, uh, and please uh, uh, read it. Uh, more carefully uh, through the other case, uh, understanding of court reasoning involves two analyses, the judge's own logic and conclusion, and his use of early judge's ideas in the form of case citations. A court that wants to get around the previous decision can read it narrowly, focusing strongly on the specific facts rather than the opinions underlying uh, logic. Courts occasionally uh, reinterpret the reasoning of their predecessors, supposedly without disturbing previous holdings or reasoning. At the other end of the spectrum, courts seeking to apply a previous ruling extensively may generously ignore significant factual differences or treat language that is quite plainly dictum as if it were part of the earlier holding. So uh, this subtlety in factual differences would lead to a uh, what a gross uh, disparity in outcome in case law. Uh, so the Socratic method would be helpful for uh, what actually to penetrate the kind of subtlety. So what a uh, what a uh, So exchange of communication in classroom uh, are challenging, but uh, could be the process to breed a more competent lawyer, uh, lawyer uh, eventually, I suppose. How do you consider uh, the strengths and weaknesses of Socratic methods in legal education? And the variations go on. Most often, course choosing to apply precedent will remain true the case cases reasoning and distinguish only when the facts are different in a legally relevant sense. But don't be too sure. So, uh, oh, I have to start here. Uh, actually, I regret I have been sh uh, short uh, about our, our class schedule in uh, what, uh, less uh, in progress. Uh, 
in any case, uh, the Aleppo uh, contents and materials delivered to uh, class would be uh, for your uh, further uh, examination, for the further study. It may uh, be regular that. <laughs> okay, thank you for your attention. Uh, let's see in another uh, class uh, next week, uh, uh, Monday. Uh, we'll meet in person on our class. Have a good weekend. <laughs>